Hello Aries, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your general timeless reading for the whole of the Aries Collective, so please take what resonates for you and leave what does not. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then you can find the link to private readings in the description box directly below this video. Finally, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel before you leave me. Thank you. And straight away, this card dropped for you. The Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, could be in Taurus. So I, I feel with this, this, the Ace of Swords is all, all about discovering the truth, um, being given the truth, or finding out the truth. It's, it's having some sort of clarity, wisdom about a certain situation or someone. Um, it's definitely about gaining some sort of clarity and wisdom. It could be approaching someone being honest with them about how you feel or what you think of a certain situation um you could be taking responsibility for something um accepting that um something is what it is um this could also indicate a new beginning after coming out of something very dramatic there is a truth here or some sort of clarity you could be holding on to something here with the four of pentacles not being able to let go or being very protective of of yourself in your space or for some of you this could be about sticking to your guns um Refusing to let go of of the way you feel or a situation or a person. It could be someone that's holding on to you and refusing to let go. Um, could be dealing with someone that is holding on to things tightly. Someone who's very greedy, possessive, who doesn't want to share. Someone that is stingy or or holds back on emotions you know um someone that doesn't let you know how they feel someone that could be holding on to grudges it could be you holding on to emotions and grudges um and not accepting the situation it could be the other way around it could be someone else um someone knows the truth but someone is refusing um the truth here so someone can see clearly someone is refusing to see the truth and it is possibly regarding a marriage or a commitment here possibly let's carry on because the card the hierophant is all about commitment this could be about commitment to yourself to it could be to a project to work a situation it could be regarding a relationship it could be someone here that sees the truth and has clarity and someone that's refusing to see the truth is being stubborn is holding back and it could be a Taurus that you're dealing with so we have the sun and unfortunately it has come out in reverse for you um could be dealing with leo energy so yeah the sun's come out in reverse The Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The 
We've also got the lovers, Gemini energy, dealing with Gemini. Well, with the sun, it's when it's in the upright, it's usually the happiest card in the deck. So when it's oh, when it's um, upside down, uh, this could indicate um, that you don't feel happy about a situation. You may feel like um, someone is hiding stuff from you, um, trying to pull the wool over your eyes or trying to deceive you in some form or fashion here, holding on to something. Something is has not been brought to light here or there's something that you're not being told. Um, maybe there's someone holding back here or holding on to something here. But I feel that you may see right through this. You may, you may already have that clarity and that truth. It may be something that you can clearly see through. Um, the, and again, it, Ace of Pentacles is about a start, a new commitment. Um, some of you, it could be something to do with a new start, a new, um, a new opportunity. This may be completely, uh, it may have nothing to do with this situation here. It could be a new opportunity that's coming in for a lot of you here. A new start. Some of you, it could be that someone's not seeing the truth about a commitment here. But someone has got that clarity about this commitment. Someone is trying to keep something from you, hold back from you. But you can clearly see right through it. You can see, you know what the truth is or you know the truth about a marriage or a commitment or an opportunity or, or um, an offer of a commitment. And it's all about, um, it could be a relationship, about a relationship for some of you. Um, there could be a choice in love for some of you. Um, it could be that someone may have another choice in love here. I'm going to get more cards out because, I mean, the lovers can also be about making a healthier choice in love. Got the three of cups that have come out for you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So yeah, they there could be deceit involved here, a third party situation. Perhaps that's what you can see right through. Perhaps you perhaps you see the truth. Perhaps you're seeing right through it. Whatever this person's trying to hold back from you. Someone could be lying to you trying to hold the truth back from you. Um, not want you to see what the truth is, trying to hide it from you, but you, you already know that someone may have a choice in love. Someone could have more than one option in love here. It could be a third party situation for some of you, definitely going on here. And I feel that you do know. Someone thinks they're hiding it from you, but you may have already... Um, work this out and yeah we've got the two of pentacles here uh, this is being juggled um, you know uh, so you could be being juggled um, like I said it could be a third party situation someone could be juggling you it could be the other way around you could be juggling someone else you you may be quite conflicted you may have a choice in love it may not necessarily be you that's uh, the victim here that's being cheated on it could be you that's um, actually with the one with the choice in love you know it can work it out either way take it as it resonates for you and we've got the death card so there is an ending coming this situation is going to lead to an end so that a new beginning so something new can begin um got death and rebirth could be dealing with scorpio so yeah there could be an end coming as a result of this third party situation of being juggled um, there will be an ending to this relationship or someone putting an end to the relationship. It could be dealing with Scorpio, a Leo, a Gemini or a Taurus predominantly within this reading. Let's get you at some more cards. Let's see what, what comes after this for you. Got the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this has perhaps been a very big burden. 
a stressful time that's coming to its conclusion, coming to an end. It's a chance for you to finally release all this burden, all this stress, something that's really made you sad and really in your emotions. It could be someone else who's feeling very sad and in their emotions um, because you've put an end to this perhaps. It could be both of you feeling sad about this situation but I feel someone, someone's definitely in sad in their emotions. Um, and it could be you, you could be sad in your emotions because you found out about this third party situation. It's been a very stressful time for you. It's been very emotional. But obviously, like I said, that could work both ways. Got a, got a few jumpers here. All right, I'll take them. But it does seem like um, a good outcome for you, though. Yeah, it came out in this order actually. Well, whatever the case is, whoever it was that um, had you in a third party situation, juggled you, is someone that was very non committal or acted very non committal, or someone that just gave in to temptation, gave in to their passions. Um, it could also indicate someone feels very passionately towards you, that there's, they're going to. After an ending, they're going, they're going to be taking action towards you with a knight of swords. There could be definitely a return of this person. You may expect to see this person coming back. Um, you could be doing a run in here. You could be running, uh, running as far away from this person as possible as soon as they run back to you. Um, that could be the case in certain situations here. But this person's definitely going to... Um, find their way back to you pretty quickly I don't think it really feels like they're not gonna be able to stay away from you for very long um you put an end to this I feel but I, I feel that they may not even realize um how much they've hurt you this person seems to act without much thought behind it and doesn't really seem to consider um, or, or seem to have considered your feelings. Um, but we, you do have the Ten of Cups and you do have the Star, so there is happiness coming and you are getting a wish come true here. So I draw out one more card to find out what that is. You could be also dealing with an Aquarius. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a wish come true. You are going to be moving on. You're going to be determined to move on, in fact, from this, without a doubt. Um, yeah, for some of you, you could be deciding to travel with the two of wands. You could have more than one path or more than one choice to either try to make this failed relationship work second time round or move on or move forward. Some of you could be traveling, definitely. There is definitely action, you know, being taken towards you someone's determined to win you back also someone that put you in a third party situation but this person has a lot of passion for you they're going to come rushing back in they're determined to have you um but again we've got this like two of wands here two of page here, two of pentacles three of cups for some of you they may not have completely dropped the third party for some of you, you could be travelling though. And some of you may be getting a wish come true or or getting something here. I feel something else is coming towards some of you here. I feel some of you may be moving on to new love. Um, definitely. I feel that with the Page of Cups here, this is something new coming into you. Um, this could be someone showing an interest in you romantically, um, flirting with you, wanting to ask you out on a date here. Um, so I, I do see some of you may not go back to the past person who put you in a third party situation because you are determined to move forward and you've already got someone interested in you here. Definitely. So let's get you out some romance angels. got 
wedding. This situation involves marriage. You've got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Um, you've got also codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So person that that betrayed you, that left you for a third party here. Uh, come rush you, we'll come rushing back pretty quickly. They could be quite codependent um, on you. Um, they could be controlling as well. Let go of control issues. They could be quite controlling. Um, you've also got this. Get me one more romance angel and then I'll get you some angel answers. Got true love. New person could be turn out to be a true love for you. This is in divine timing. This is someone that's worth waiting for. Or someone that's going to be worth your time and effort. Could be your true love. Some of you may think um, that the person who betrayed you was your true love. Who knows? You know, it's going to be different for all of you. Uh, someone's going to be making a lot of effort towards you. I said that was going to be the last card, didn't I? Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to say... Get, yeah, get you out um, an angel answer. So we've got um, in the near future that this could all be happening in regards to timing. Um, someone wants you to reconsider. Um, so, you know, some of you definitely ended putting an end to this relationship, but they may want you to reconsider that, you know, that decision. Um, your answer could be no. And finally, you've got forgiveness. Someone wants your forgiveness here. Could be that person that's um, put you in a third party, third party situation. They want, they want your forgiveness now. <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to leave it there for you, Aries. So that was your reading. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.